hello and welcome back yes in this video our interest is to talk about pie charts yeah so a pie chart is a circular graph that represents data by dividing the cut the circle into sectors where each sector illustrates a proportion to the whole so a pie charts are ideal for displaying the distribution and relative importance of different categories within a data set making it easier to or easy to compare and interpret data at a glance. Now, let's see the kind of column or the kind of data set you can actually present uh, on a pie chart. Uh, I think whenever you have a categorical data set with fewer categories, so uh, since publisher, we saw the other time that publisher had a lot of categories, right? Let's even check the next filter to see how many categories or how many publishers you have there. So you can see the number, a lot of publishers, right? A lot of publishers so these are the publishers that we have here so many of them right uh this kind of category uh, categorical data is not suitable for a pie chart but for the for the general i think we have just just seven of them even seven is still a, a lot for for a pie chart let's see platform how many different platforms do we have okay uh this is actually quite a number also this is too much for also a pie chart so basically, a pie chart uh, will, is best used to display categorical data with fewer, fewer categories, fewer categories. So the only column that is a little bit ideal for a pie chart is the general uh, column because this has, I think, just seven categories. Let's count again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11, 12. Oh, 12 categories. This is actually a lot. Okay, but just for demonstration's sake, I would use this particular data set, the general uh, column, to represent uh, the pie charts, right? Uh, to, to, to explain pie charts. So for pie charts, uh, let's just go again ahead and insert a chart and then go ahead and change the settings. So this time around, we want our pie charts to be done on the, the general axis general column so i will choose the x axis for general and i want to take an aggregate of the sum for each general so the the, the series i'm adding here is going to be for the sales right the sales uh let's use the eu sales now eu sales so i want eu sales from the beginning all up to the end let me just do that way and see how this will be presented so some of the EU sales and uh, um, yep, let's see. Okay, so I want the sum of the EU sales. Uh, where is it again? Uh, where is the aggregates? The aggregates, the aggregates. Okay, let's come over here and choose uh, uh, the pie charts. We want it to be presented in a pie chart. And I want the aggregate of the EU sales, the X axis, I don't want the label pie chart of, okay, so this is what is gonna happen, right? I'll start this all over again by selecting the columns first. So I'll select the general column, okay? And then I'll select hold on my shift key i think i should just click on the column name called e and hold on my control key and select e users selecting the two come back to insert choose chart and we choose the pie charts right let's do that again insert chart and uh, just wait for a while for my computer to pop up and choose the pie charts and what you want for the pie chart is actually um, the aggregates of each of those items selected. The aggregate of the EU sales by those uh, general of games. So can you see how the pie chart is presented? So let's take this to a new to sheet of its own. Okay, we'll move it to the sheet of its own. And here is how it's presented. So it's telling us that for shooters, the game called Shooter, it's, we have 29.9% of the sales of the game under Shooter. Then Fighting is 4.2, then 
let's see the highest is action you can see it occupying the largest space that is 21.6 uh, action covers the largest sales for the, the general of game right the games then followed by i think sports followed by sports which is 15.5 uh followed by shooters which is 12.9 uh followed by which other game i think followed by platform which is 8.3 no followed by raising which is 9.8 then platform 8.3 uh no not platform after raise is music 8.9 then platform 8.3 then followed by role playing 7.7 .7. Uh, followed by what other game? I think the next would be uh, simulation 4.7, fighting 4.2, strategy no, pu puzzle 2.1, and then strategy 1.9. So, this is just how to present uh, data, uh, categorical data using pie charts. Remember, I said this data, the best, this uh, this general's uh, column is best presented with column charts. You see, the other time. We presented with column chart it makes more sense because the categories uh there are a lot 12 is quite uh, a number so for pie chart i think if you have say three categories four categories five categories six categories those are still ideal uh they are said to be presented in a pie chart and not uh, a, a column with so much so many categories like this okay you can also go ahead and you know set up your change to do some kind of uh settings for your pie chart this is the slice the pie slice where you can choose the kind of slice that you want for each of these each of these categories for shooters it's this blue right you can change the color if you if you like you can choose mix and then change the color for mix and all of those settings can be done right here under the custom option okay so this is how to create a pie chart and how to edit a power um customize a pie chart Thank you for watching this video. We'll see you again in the next one. Yeah, we shall be talking about uh, other types of charts. Goodbye.